Welcome to GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Kent, and in this video, we're going to work practice problems on how to name chemical compounds. Now, in previous lessons, we've seen how to name ionic compounds, molecular compounds, and acids. But in this lesson, we're going to mix all three types together and see if we can figure out how to name them. Now, before we begin, you may want to go over to GetChemistryHelp.com and print out the PDF worksheet so you can follow along as we work these. Well, let's just go ahead here and jump in and see what we can do. Number one, Al2S3, is that an ionic compound? Is it molecular or is it an acid? Because again, the way we named the three types is totally different. So Al and S, let's find Al. That lives over here and S lives over here. So this be ionic, molecular, or an acid. Okay, well ionic compounds typically have a metal or a polyatomic and aluminum is a metal because it's on the left of this little staircase right here that divides the metals from non-metals. So this would be an ionic compound. I'll put an I over here. Okay, so we named the cation first. That would be aluminum. And then we have to decide, does this metal need a Roman numeral? Well, if it's in group one, group two, or the magic triangle, then it has a fixed charge and it won't. Oh, look, it is in the magic triangle, so it won't. So just aluminum. Sulfur, that's a non-metal that forms an anion. So non-metals that form anions, we just change the ending to ide. So that would be sulfide, aluminum sulfide. How about H3PO3 aqueous? Is that ionic, molecular, or an acid? Well, the hydrogen's out front and the aqueous tells me it's gotta be an acid. So I'll just put an A over here. So what's the name of the acid? Well, the name of the acid is... Don't see it! 